Thank you, Steve, for that generous introduction. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. It's a real pleasure to be here and really excited to share um, the roadmap and about our next generation processor, which is on its way. Um, so, you know, what we show here is we, we have an established roadmap, uh, and what I'm not showing here is what goes beyond this or what has come before this can't fit everything in the page. And plus, if you take pictures, you won't be able to see everything if I put the whole uh, power roadmap. But, you know, we go all the way back to our uh, first uh, power processor. Uh, what I really want to say here is, you know, beyond that, you know, I will talk about the P9 processor, is that um, we have a history of sustained innovation and if you recall you know way way back from multi cores to SMT on power 5 it was two threads power 9 we are coming up with eight threads per core uh, we have you know big caches we have as Steve talked about robust interfaces and they are not just robust fast interfaces these are standard and open and that's what you know I want to iterate here um, so let's talk about you know our next generation uh, processor you know which uh, um, uh, which is in the pipeline to come next year uh, first of all the first point I want to make here is that this is the first chip in our power 9 processor family this is the first chip and I'll, I'll share what I mean by that. It's um, the first one is optimized for scale out for you know scaling horizontally versus scale up you know scaling uh, vertically. This one is going to go up to 24 cores and it's going to be on the global foundry 14 nanometer process technology. We have state-of-the-art next generation PCIe Gen 4. I'm not going to go through the whole laundry list, but really give you some key highlights. There are sessions coming up which I encourage you to attend and you know learn more about these. State of the art PCIe Gen 4. We are a premier platform for um, hardware acceleration. Not only do we have NVLink, you know, Steve talked about it, you're aware of this. We have CAPI, but we are also going to go ahead with Open CAPI. Again, to reiterate, we don't just have these buses, but you know these are standard open interfaces. Next, as I said, this is not one chip. We are optimizing for the different markets. Unlike P8, where we had a single chip and we use our packaging technologies to meet the market segments, on Power9 we are we are actually delivering and de developing differentiated chips uh, to meet these market needs. And it's important to point out, you know, the benefits of some of these, you know, one of them is that these are specifically optimized for those segments, and let's not forget the cost side of that. So we don't pay those costs, you know, big cost in the logic, you know, that's needed for scale up. So these are very highly optimized um, processors, and as I said, it's not just one, uh, but different. On P8, we used uh, uh, packaging technology here, we have differentiated chips. Now, no presentation will ever be complete if we don't talk about performance. I'm just going to give you a teaser here and not going to go through details, and that way you can attend the other sessions. Um, what, what we are showing here is uh, comparing to P8, uh, Power 8. Uh, so compared to Power 8, Power 9 with the same number of cores, same number of threads, ISO frequency is up to 2x the performance of Power 8. Okay, and that's that's all I'm going to say. For more, stay tuned and you know attend other sessions, our technical sessions. So really, to summarize, you know, Power Nine once again um, is, um, and again the the first one, which is the scale out, uh, significant performance increase compared to Power Eight. Um, as I said, it's an optimized chip, so we are doing direct uh, attached DD4 memory for this one. Um, we that uh, we enable increased server density, and you know not to mention that. That we are, we truly believe that it's it's um, uh, there are unique needs uh, across the market, across different business needs. So we are going to give all these direct accelerator attached and we link CAPI, open CAPI um, to really um, enable uh, different work models. So in summary, you know, you've heard Callista, you've heard Steve really talk about, and I hope you all agree with us that really there are some significant shifts, shifts happening in the market. Uh, there are 
uh, unique needs, you know, per uh, per workloads. You know, it's not one size fits all. That's the model that we've lived now for the last, you know, 20, 25 years. That one size fits all is just not meeting the business needs. Um, at IBM, we are very aware of this, and so we are providing you both not just open power, but open capi. You know, giving you the open standards, providing the platform for innovation and collaboration, and then finally our next generation Power Nine. You know, coming up. Uh, soon uh, providing leadership platform for hardware acceleration and this is what will give each one of you the differentiation that you need for your business model you know and for your workloads and as I said you know it will address broad range you know we are creating differentiated chips so thank you very much and thank you for joining us